Hey everyone, it's Keisha Charmaine and I'm back with another episode of Black Talk. First, I can't ignore the obvious, I changed my color. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've known that for about a week already. But here's a closer look of the color if you want to see. It's red, okay? You know, I'm no stranger to red. And I have a video on how I achieved this color coming up. It needs to be edited and I still need to film some more footage for it, but it's coming soon, okay? Today's question comes from Valley Val, and she says, Just wanted to say that I love your videos. I'm a lock newbie and I have a weird texture, but I also started my dreads with shoulder length dreads. My question is, will I have a longer ugly stage than if I started them with shorter hair? What can I do to keep moisture in my hair? And does it matter what type of dread bag I need to help <laughs> keep the moisture in? You can see pics uh, on my Instagram. Her Instagram is at cuterdchick. Okay, Valley Val. To address the first part of your question, yes, you'll have a longer ugly stage. Shorter hair locks faster. I have addressed this in a previous lock talk. I strongly believe that shorter hair locks faster. It just makes more sense when you really think about how locks lock. Shorter hair locks faster. But that's not the only thing that you need to keep in mind. Kinkier textured hair locks faster as well. So you mentioned that you have a weird texture. I don't know what that really means. But if your hair is kinky enough, your hair will lock. Even though it's really fast, it'll lock fast enough. I mean, I don't know what fast enough is for you. But um, the ugly stage is truly what you make of it. Who really told you that the stage where your locks form is the ugly stage? Who told you that? In my opinion, the ugly stage, the awkward stage, is a perfect time for you to play around with different things like hair accessories, hair scarves, headbands, and you can try different hairstyles that, you know, will make you feel more feminine or put together if you're, if, if you're not a, a, a female. Um, I'm, I'm sure you're a female, but I mean just in general for the guys out here who are watching this who are concerned about the awkward stage, the stage, whatever you want to call it. Personally, I believe that it's a time where you can experiment, get to learn your hair, get to figure out what works best for you, and learn yourself in the process. So don't be afraid of the ugly stage. Yes, your shoulder length hair may take longer to lock, therefore you may have a longer, awkward, ugly stage. However, so what? That stage is a very valuable stage and I wouldn't want you to skip it or feel the need that you should skip it. And the second part of your question, what can I do to keep the moisture in your hair? I would recommend that you use mists daily, whether you use straight up water, rose water, water mixed with essential oils, um, rose water mixed with essential oils. Daily mists, I absolutely love daily mists. Um, I personally don't mist my hair every day, but only because I don't always remember. But when I remember to mist it, I absolutely do, and my locks love me for it. They appreciate the mist. So I recommend you do that, and if you are concerned about your scalp, I would also recommend that you mist your scalp, don't neglect your scalp, and also oil your scalp with um, whichever oils you prefer, carrier oils, maybe carrier oils mixed with a little bit of essential oils. You have this awkward stage for you to learn what, what products or what oils or what techniques work best for you. So learn your hair and try your best to figure that out. Ah!